Hey everyone, Sean Clement here at the Royal Quebec Golf Club and I'm playing the Royal Golf Club today on this uh, one of the 36 holes. And uh, I've got the starters looking at me, you know, it's the first time they have a look at, you know, the new pro was in town. So I got starters looking at me. I got a few other players looking at me right now. And, you know, it's just like everybody else has the first tee jitters. We've got uh, a fairway that's bending a little bit to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my little fade and I'm, I'm going into the wind. So I'm going to tee it down nice and low and I'm going to play a nice fairway wood style right toward that fairway down the left hand side. And I got my intermediate point right here in front of me. So here's the deal. You're nervous. You're on the first tee. Know this you can't make sure. So there's no making sure of this. What's your best chance? Well, I got to go that way. And I have a feel. So the feel I'm going to use, like a fairway wood, I've got the sole of my club that I'm going to deflect along the surface of the ground in that direction. And there it is. And all I can do, because I can't make sure, I see my dandelion, I, I feel the sole of the club on the surface of the ground. I'm going to feel a nice low effort whip along the surface of the ground over that intermediate point. La di da, that's all I got. And there we go. So the ball started down the middle, faded a little more than what I wanted. Just the first cut of rough on the right. So we'll take that for the first hole. Nice solid contact, a respectable tee shot, but you notice how I stayed with my shot. I stayed with my task knowing I can't make sure. So in order for me to make the best swing possible, I have to make a carefree swing along the surface of the ground in the direction I want the ball to go with the sole of my club. And there you have it. And we saved, we saved face. <laughs> so, it's a 400 yard opening hole right into the teeth of a three club wind. So I hit that, nutted it, 250 yards. And we're 100, there's a 150 marker right there. The pin is at 143. So 143 is a smooth nine iron for me. Three club wind, nine, eight, seven. And I'm thinking, I definitely don't want to be over this green. So if anything, I want to be a little short. So I'm going to go with a nice low punch seven iron. That way I don't have to hit it hard. I'm coming out of the rough. I got a little bit of a flyer lie. So I got my intermediate point. And just to show you what my setup's going to be like at address, I'm playing the ball further back in my stance. So one ball width back of center, close the face a bit more. And now I'm going to feel like I'm squeezing that ball into that door frame. So I, I like to use the door frame analogy. And what I'm going to do is, yeah, that pin is a little bit on the right hand side. So because I'm going to play a low draw, here's the deal. We're going to aim to the left of the pin, release to the pin and draw it back to the left side of the pin, left center of the green. If the if the ball stays straight on the pin, great. And I do have a, uh, the wind is coming a little bit into us about from 10 o'clock. So if I start it on the flag and try to draw it back, it's going to hold against the wind. I should hold it right there against the flag stick. There's a strategy. And if the ball does come back, well, no problem. I'm on the left fat side of the green. So here we go. This is an intermediate point just to the left of the pin. So I aim with that, ball back, close the face, and now, oh, the wind just died on me. Oh, it just went straight dead. I went from three clubs to no clubs. That's when you pause <laughs> and you say, hang on a second. So now I'm just gonna go with a smooth seven iron. We'll make the adjustment, ball back, and now we're just going to squeeze the ball through the door frame with ease in that direction. 
Oh yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. Awesome. So I'm just at the front of the green right on the fringe. Easy up and down, here we go. So I knew this area here would be way easier. We got fairway all the way up to the green. Very easy chip shot from here, but from back there, if I had to put it over the green or even at the back of this green is a big swale back there, it'd be a much more difficult up and down. So I just backed off that seven iron. I got, all I'm gonna do now is just get it over the front here, land it about one third onto the green, let it roll the other two thirds. I need an intermediate point at all costs. Got one right there. I'm gonna stay the left edge of that. Right there, perfect. So there's my takeaway, see that? I'm staying left edge of that. I'm gonna land it first third on the green. So a little practice swing, that won't make it. That's too hard. That's right on the first third. So we're cutting through the dandelion stem, left edge of that, that way. Come on, come on, get in. Easy par. Wasn't that a nice opening hole? I really enjoyed that. So same scenario here. We got 424 par four into the winds back up now. So I'm going to take it right over. So I always pick an intermediate point right there. So I'm going to tee my ball up, in this case down, right behind that little divot. I'm going to go left edge of that little divot over the white markers, down the left center, and let it fade back toward the center of the fairway. Just like that. So same thing. I'm going to let the sole of the club sweep along the surface of the grass in that direction with a nice low effort whip. Here we go. Ho, 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 yeah. Right through the uprights so of that sweet little fade. Kept it nice and low. Awesome. Let's see what that leaves us. It should get us, you know, anywhere, but I think about a 160 from the green. So our marker there, look, it, they got the 200 yard marker right there. That, uh, that wind really took that baby down. So I'm going 190. So 190 is my, 185 is my six iron. So we're looking at five, four, three. I'm hitting three iron into this green. That's my 225 club. And I'm gonna keep this thing low. We're gonna come in with a nice low fade. Notice the pin is back right or center right. So I'm going for the center of the green, swing toward the center of the green with the ball basically center, club face a little more closed, but I'm trapping the ball into the center of the green. If it fades, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. I'm in the center of the green. So here we go. I need an intermediate point. Got one got one even closer terrific i got one right in front of the ball so just a hair back in the stance got room for my football got it excellent so a nice low effort whip through the stem right over that intermediate point here we go oh oh be nice Oh, freaking A. Inside 10 feet with a three iron. Love it. That was awesome. See this open up. Look at the, the hazard here, short of this. Got a little meandering creek. Then we got a little plateau there. And look at who's on the green. Pin high, 10 feet to the left of the pin. Gotta love it. See if we can make that putt. Oh man, that would be great, eh? Wonderful start. Two solid par fours into the wind. Be nice to get a little birdie early in the round. The greens look pretty darn good right now. So let's see. 
adjust that. There's the pin. Okay, you should see that quite well. So we'll do a quick survey. Where's that fall line? Up. I'm going down. Going up. Going down. Okay. There's fall line right here. Straight downhill putt right here. Okay. So that's got to break to the right. So I'm going uphill and to the right. I can see how the ball is going to enter. I'm picking a line at 630. So right now, if I go with momentum, I'm way too far left. Still too far left. Still too far left. There. That feels pretty good for 630, so I'm going to see the ball enter over the hole, hit the back of the hole. Mm -hmm. 